My name is Caitlin Windsor. I'm the marketing director here at Perry and Young. And I just wanted to kind of kick us off and start off by saying congratulations. You should all be very proud of yourselves for everything that you've accomplished this year. Um, I know all of your, your parents and your, your families are so excited and so proud of you. And your futures are so bright. And I have had the pleasure of working with WMBB with, with Courtney um, and getting this all started and it's so exciting just to be able to come together and celebrate you and all your successes. So Chris and Larry have a couple of things that they want to say and then we're going to get the evening started. Yeah, perfect. I will just play that video from Chris and Larry right now for you guys. So give me one second. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Perry and Young WMBB Scholar Athlete of the Year Award Ceremony tonight via Zoom. We're coming to you from the Perry and Young Studios, downtown Panama City, and thank you everyone, coaches, family, friends, and athletes uh, who are on the Zoom call tonight. We appreciate you all being here tonight. We are celebrating the, the Male and Female Athlete of the Year for Northwest Florida WMBB. I am Larry Perry, this is Chris Young. Chris Young. Perry and Young, and we're glad to be sponsoring tonight's event. We originally developed this program to highlight local young people in our area, but that has turned into so much more than that. The young individuals in this area are unique, Larry. And the past several years have brought about many changes and challenges, such as Hurricane Michael and this nasty thing called COVID-19. And at this time, we would like to take a moment and name everyone that was at some point selected as a scholar athlete of the year, because your accomplishments are so much more than what we could even imagine that I know that your friends and your families are so uh, so proud of you and uh, this is important to you. So I'm going to read off the names of all the scholar athletes there this year and then we're going to announce the winners. I'll tell you what, and you know, just a reminder, Chris and I both were high school athletes and we understand what it, it takes to go through to not only achieve on the field, but also achieve in the classroom. And of course, the ultimate goal is to achieve better in life. So, Chris, without further ado, go ahead. So, we got a long list here, so bear with us. So, we have from Arnold High School, Habib September, Darcy Halls, Zach Bischoff, and Cassandra White. From Bay High School, we have Charles Campbell Jr., Ryan and Chase Vineyard, Audra Dew, and Sydney Gay. So, you want to take the next couple? Sure. From Bozeman High School, we have Charles Trumbull. From Bluntstown High School, Brody Hall, Sydney Eubanks, Colton Riles. From Chipley, John Taylor. From Cottondale, we have Logan Pumphrey. Freeport, we have Cason Schott. And from Liberty County, we have Carson Ramsey. In Mariana, we have Joseph Allen, Abigail Callahan, Clara May, and Brady Donaldson. From Mosley, we have Reagan Kennard, Chase McCarter, Emily Duncan, Jake Perikowski, Jared Rashak, and Jaden Rudd. North Bay Haven High School in, in Bay County, DeClan Hutchins, Helmut Von Nockbluck, I hope I got that one right, and Allie Lamford. Oh, there you go, Larry. I, I, I intentionally you, you gave me that one, right? Okay, okay, I got you. Uh, from Rutherford, we have Cecilia Schuler and Xavier Stilges. From South Walton County, uh, Levin Magruder and Aaron Motter. From Vernon, Devion Bush. And last, Fort St. Joe, Eva Strickland and Zoe Burlock. Mm -hmm. And we walk into we have Landon Johnson. These individuals, all of you, have persevered. We really appreciate the trials and tribulations that you've gone through. We appreciate the coaching staff who have been with you, many of you, for four or five years, you know, bringing you up through the high school ranks. If anyone would know this better than us, of course, it's our own Courtney Mims. She's the sports director at WMBB. Courtney, take it away. Thank you so much, Larry. Um, you know, it's uh, obviously scholar athlete of the week is a uh, segment that is near and dear to our hearts. You know, no one knows that better than me and Emma Stamps, who um, I actually invited her to come back to this meeting for you guys. Um, it's because she worked with every single one of you athletes. I, I didn't do as much as she did for this segment. Uh, it's also why it was given an AP award for the Florida Association of Broadcasters this year, because it's such an amazing segment and the entire state recognizes that. Um, so I have invited Emma back. She has moved on from WMBB. Some of y'all know that from watching the weekend shows, um, but she is here to obviously announce those winners. Now, why we are all here tonight is to recognize all, each and every one of you. Obviously, Larry and Chris went through a very, very long list of amazing scholar athletes. And I just want to shout out 
every single scholar athlete that we got to do a piece on this year, you guys inspired both me and Emma. Uh, watching your segments every week, uh, watching your interviews, talking to you guys. I mean, every single one of you guys did an absolutely amazing job. And, uh, and we're not saying that, you know, lightly, but we, we literally think every single one of you are incredible. Um, so we were so grateful to get the opportunity to do pieces on you each and every week. Um, but we are also here to announce a male scholar athlete and female scholar athlete of the year. That is an award that goes out to the top of the best. I mean, you guys are already all the best, but these two, we just think stand out amazing, you know, from the group that, that we did the pieces on. And, and those two will get a $1,500, right? Am I right, Caitlin, on that one? Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Great. I just wanted to make sure <laughs> a $1,500 scholarship to help with their education at the next level and all of you guys are going on to the next level i know that many of you have gotten scholarships for your athletic careers and to continue those at the next level but we just want to help with that to the two that really stood out so without further ado we're going to announce who won that male scholar athlete and female scholar athlete of the year and i'm actually going to pass it to emma to announce the female scholar athlete of the year is that all right emma Yes, sounds good. And I did just want to say to all of you, just thank you so much for, you know, letting us tell your stories. You truly inspired me, like Courtney said, professionally and personally, and just, just amazing what y'all have been able to do on the field, off the field with all the obstacles that you've all had in your personal lives. And y'all definitely showed me how high a GPA scale could go. So y'all are amazing. Um, but without further ado, we'll get to the female um, scholar athlete of the year. So the female athlete of the year is awarded to the female athlete who sets herself apart from all others. She's considered top at her position and on her team and even recognized within her league. This year, Abigail Callahan fits that description. For Abigail, she's an all-around scholar athlete and her talents don't just stop on the field. The thing that impressed me greatly about her was that when I went out to interview her before a soccer game, she had to run over to the drum line before the game and get them started because she's their drum major. So she's literally directing them from the field throughout the game. So that was just incredible to see. And it was definitely the first thing I told Courtney when I got back that night, I was like, you won't believe this. It was just so impressive. and. Not only that, she has a four, or she had at that point a 4.7 GPA. I'm sure she probably graduated with one a little higher. Um, she was a member of the National Honor Society and Beta Club, was the Bulldog starting goalie for the past four seasons. And in her senior season, she helped lead them to a playoff run and took them further than they have been in quite some time. So she plans to attend college on a Navy ROT scholarship and will become an active duty officer after earning her degree. So this young lady has represented Mariana High School with passion and has drive that is second to none, constantly wanting to practice, getting feedback and willing to put in an extra mile. And she has a relentless pursuit of excellence and an extremely diligent work ethic to hone her craft. She leads her team in the weight room, physical tests, pushing her teammates with a focus intensity to keep raising the bar. And these qualities combined with her natural physical abilities have caused her to grow into not only a highly successful athlete, but also a leader, of course. So congratulations to the female scholar athlete of the year, Abigail, Abigail Callahan from Mariana. Woo, yay, yay. Abigail. Yay. <laughs> Abigail has been awesome, um, and she was awesome to cover, I know, in that segment for Emma. Um, definitely deserving of the Female Scholar Athlete of the Year. So thank you so much, Emma, for doing that. Um, I have the great privilege, excuse me, of nominating, or ex excuse me, of awarding our Male Scholar Athlete of the Year. I'm very excited uh, to give this award out because the young man who is getting this award, um, I think, has impressed me and Emma to no end. We've heard about him all year long. Um, he has overcome so many things. I know you guys have overcome Hurricane Michael, the pandemic. Well, he's had to overcome both of those things and also so much more. Countless obstacles have been thrown his way and he's taken them all in stride. And that's why I think he really, truly exemplifies what it is to be a scholar athlete. 
and why I think we're giving him the male scholar athlete of the year. Let me just give you some of his accomplishments on the field. Um, you know, he racked up 2,210 total yards for the year while scoring 25 touchdowns and in just eight games, if I'm wrong on that coach, you can tell me, uh, but I think that's very, very impressive uh, from him. His coach did say, I've been in education for 29 years and coaching for half of that. And I don't think I can compare another young man that I've seen work as hard as this athlete does. And I think if that doesn't say it better than whatever I have to say, it does. He was also awarded the FACA District 2 Player of the Year on the field. It's incredible. It, I mean, his list goes on and on. I could go for 30 minutes talking about this athlete, but seriously, he really does exemplify everything we do with scholar athlete. Um, he also did all of that while having a 4.7 GPA. So that's uh, absolutely incredible. Uh, I don't know if I could do all of those things and also keep my grades up as well. So I just think that's amazing. So without fur further ado, our scholar athlete male of the year is Charles Campbell Jr. from Bay High School. I know his coach is here, so yay, he's here. Hey, CJ, yes. Hey, good CJ. Um, he's awesome. Uh, coach, I honestly think you said it best when, when you gave us that quote, but anything you'd like to say on CJ's behalf? Man, he, you talk about taking advantage of uh, your high school years. He has done that. Not only did he has a lot of success in uh, football, but he was, uh, I think he won the uh, region and track and uh, state qualifier, fourth in the state in weightlifting. And he's already uh, enrolled at FSU. In fact, he's over there in Tallahassee helping out with the youth camp today. So, uh, you know, he hit the ground running. But that's CJ. He, he always takes advantage of opportunities. And I've never met a young man with a more gracious spirit than, than CJ. So he's just an incredible young man that's overcome so much. And, uh, I know he's going to be successful due to his work ethic. Um, but I will say, uh, you know, a lot of credit goes to Bay High. When he arrived on our campus, he was not an honor level student, but we had some teachers see the, see the ability that he had. And, uh, they really pushed him into that ACE program. And, um, you know, he should graduate with that ACE diploma, which should be awarded next month. But uh, you want to talk about most of your high school career? Uh, I've never seen one achieve as much as C.J. Campbell has. I, I, I agree with that completely. He has definitely um, impressed both me and Emma and even uh, Larry Perry and Chris Young. It's why we wanted to give him this award. So hopefully uh, you'll let him know that he did with us. He's still working, you know, that shows it what a, a, what a great scholar athlete he is because he's still working and, and making sure that he's doing everything he can to better himself. And I have no doubt we'll see him on the field at FSU very, very soon. So perfect. Well, that's, that's really all we have for you guys here tonight. Um, I appreciate every single person for being here. Sorry, I accidentally muted myself there, Zoom issues. Uh, but appreciate every single person for being here. And honestly, I know we just awarded two amazing athletes, but it, it was incredibly hard for both Emma and I to choose who would win the final award because every single one of you was incredible this season uh, incredible for the past four years to cover you know uh, we could go on and on for days about how awesome each and every one of you were so just remember that as you go through uh, whether you're just going to college or whether you're continuing your sport at the next level you guys are all have seriously bright futures so we really really appreciate for for you guys to allow us to cover you for all these past few years and especially for us to uh, name you as scholar athletes of the week at some point so, but that's it. All I have, anything you'd like to add, Caitlin, from Perry and Young? No, I just, I'm just sitting here in awe. It's so, so proud to, to even be a part of this, um, to celebrate um, all of your accomplishments. So um, just take what you will and keep your chin up and you're, you're going to go far. Definitely, definitely. Em Emma, anything you'd like to add? I'd like to, you know. Just ditto to all of that. Again, y'all are just so amazing. And it was just truly a privilege to just get to tell people about you. And y'all allowed me to explore the panhandle. And now I, when I'm traveling around, I'm like, oh, so-and-so from there with a four point something crazy GPA, or they do this and that. And it's just, y'all are truly amazing. And I just really can't wait to see where you go. I mean, truly, you know, you're just getting started with your life. So just like they said, just keep go pushing, keep going the extra mile like y'all always do. And you're going to be successful no matter what you choose to do, you know, in your life. So I wish you all the best of luck. Definitely. I think that's perfect. Well, thank you guys for so much for attending our ceremony tonight. Congratulations to every single one of you for getting a, a scholar athlete of the week this year. And we really appreciate you for being here tonight. Thanks so much. That's all we have. Have a, have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. <laughs> Thank you.